Good evening, everybody. My name is Chris. Welcome to our Tutor ABC's special session talking about the future grammar series. Um, last, well, not last, sorry. This Tuesday, we were introducing you to present tense and past tense. Today, we'll be introducing you to the future tense. Now, understand, future tense itself really isn't that hard. Um, the only thing that's hard is that the different ways that future tense can be presented in English. Understand that most of the time we use future tense when we're talking about the future. Most of the time we're talking about promises, especially promises. Oh yeah, I will do blah blah blah. I am sure that this will blah blah blah. Or we can also use future tense when we are predicting things that will happen in the future. Okay? Now, first of all, the most commonly used future tense that we use would be called future simple. And in future simple, there are many ways of presenting it. All right? So for the next coming slides, we're all going to be talking about uh, talking about future simple tense. Okay? All of the things that we'll be talking about in the next coming slides will basically be based talking about future simple tense. The most common way of presenting the future simple tense is using the word will or using the word shall. Now, many of you are confused asking which one should we use. Should we use will or should we use shall? Well, the thing about shall is that shall is much more formal. Okay, We don't use it as often. Okay. In many cases, we can use the word shall when we're asking about permission. Okay. For example, all right, if it's, I think it's time to go, I can always ask my friends, hey, shall we leave? So shall we leave means it's time for us to leave in the near future. Do you think it's time? So most of the time, use word shall in case where you want to be polite, asking for permission about things in the future. But most of the time, when speaking in English, we use the word will more often. Okay. Now we use will. Okay. When we're talking about a decision to do something in the future, and most of the time, okay, it is something that we are very sure that we are going to do. You see, I, for example, some examples, I'm tired, I think, I will take a nap. Meaning that you are very sure, okay, about this decision and you're going to do it. Okay, the next one here. That bag looks heavy. I'll help you carry it. Okay, so we use the word will when you've made a decision on something to do in the future. Okay? Now, the basic structure of will is actually very simple. Just remember that it's subject, oops, sorry, subject, will, infinitive, well, infinitive verb, and object. Okay? This is what we call, this is the basic structure of the sentence. Subject, will, infinitive, verb, object. That's it. You don't have to worry about ing. You don't have to worry about s. You don't have to worry about forgetting something. That is basically how the sentence is structured. The only thing I want you to remember about the future tense is that the future tense, when we use will, is when you've decided for sure you will do something. 